Welcome to Stoic in Your Life, where we delve into the profound wisdom of Stoicism and apply it to our modern hustle. Today's episode, 10 Traits of People Who Speak Less, promises to be a transformative journey. Marcus Aurelius once said, He who speaks does not know, and he who knows does not speak. This profound statement sets the stage for our exploration into the power of silence and Stoicism in our daily lives. Have you ever noticed how the most impactful people often speak the least? They possess a serene confidence, a mastery of silence that speaks louder than words. In this episode, we're going to uncover the 10 traits that make these individuals so influential and how you, too, can harness these qualities for personal growth and happiness. But this isn't just about learning, it's about applying. How can you integrate these stoic principles into your everyday life? How can silence become your strongest tool in a world filled with noise? I invite you to join me in this exploration. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below as we embark on this journey together. Remember, each trait we discuss is a step towards mastering the art of speaking less and living more. By the end of this episode, you'll not only understand these traits, but also know how to apply them in your life. So, hit that like button, subscribe, and let's dive into the stoic world of silence and wisdom. Together, we'll transform these lessons into actionable steps, turning the quiet power of stoicism into your everyday superpower. Let's begin this journey of discovery and transformation. One quiet, yet powerful step at a time. One, silence attracts attention. In the realm of communication, there exists a subtle yet profound power in the art of silence, a concept deeply ingrained in the teachings of Marcus Aurelius and Stoicism. This isn't merely about the absence of speech, but rather the strategic use of silence as a tool for deeper connection and understanding. Imagine a scene of chaotic conversation, where voices clash and opinions collide. Amidst this cacophony, there you stand, an embodiment of calm and composure. Your silence, not a sign of disengagement, but a beacon of confidence and contemplation. This quietude piques the curiosity of others, drawing them towards you, eager to uncover the thoughts behind your serene exterior. This magnetic allure of silence is akin to the calm before a storm, or the pause between notes in a captivating melody, creating a space where anticipation builds and attention focuses. Delving deeper into the essence of silence, it can be likened to a blank canvas inviting others to project their thoughts and emotions. In this space, you offer not just physical room, but mental openness, allowing ideas and perspectives to breathe and flourish. By choosing to listen rather than immediately respond, you engage in an active process of empathy, a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy. This empathetic listening fosters deeper connections and understanding transforming the dynamics of our interactions in relationships, workplaces, and even within our internal dialogues. Stoicism, as taught by Marcus Aurelius, emphasizes the value of quality over quantity in speech. By speaking less, but with greater intention, each word we utter becomes imbued with significance and thoughtfulness. This approach is not about diminishing our voice, but enhancing its impact through thoughtful articulation. Our words gain power not from their volume, but from their meaningfulness, striking a delicate balance between silence and speech. This balance enriches our interactions, making them more profound and impactful. Embracing silence is an art, a conscious choice in our fast-paced, noise-filled world. It's a skill that, once mastered, brings tranquility, influence, and depth to our lives. This practice isn't about avoiding conversation but about augmenting it, using silence as a strategic tool to deepen connections, understand others, and express our thoughts with clarity and precision. It's a journey of discovering the power of pause, a testament to the timeless wisdom of Stoicism that teaches us the strength found in stillness and the virtue of listening in a world that often forgets to stop and hear. Incorporating this Stoic principle into our modern lives we find that silence can be a powerful ally. In a world where constant communication is the norm, choosing to speak less but with more substance can set us apart, 
making our words more memorable and impactful. It's about understanding the right moment to speak and the right moment to listen, a skill that can enhance our personal and professional relationships. By practicing this art of silence, we not only honor the teachings of Marcus Aurelius, but also enrich our lives with deeper connections and more meaningful interactions. To understand the art of reflective wisdom, embarking on the path of reflective wisdom as espoused by the Stoics, is akin to setting sail on a vast, unexplored ocean. It demands not only bravery and inquisitiveness, but also a heart willing to embrace the unknown. This journey is central to the Stoic way of life, especially in today's fast-paced society, where the din of constant communication often drowns out the value of quiet introspection and contemplation. The Stoic practice of speaking less is deeply intertwined with reflective wisdom. It's not merely about embracing silence for its own sake, but rather about recognizing the profound influence and power of our words. Picture a scenario where a friend confides in you about a problem. The instinct to fill the ensuing silence with advice and words is powerful. However, more often than not, the most significant support we can provide is our undivided attention and our capacity to listen empathetically. This conscious decision to listen rather than speak springs from a deep understanding of human connection. It acknowledges that sometimes being heard is more crucial than receiving advice. This wisdom, the discernment of when to speak and when to remain silent, not only strengthens our relationships, but also deepens our ability to connect on a more profound level. But the question arises, how does one cultivate this reflective wisdom, this mastery over one's speech? The journey begins with self-observation, scrutinizing our own tendencies in speaking and remaining silent. We must ask ourselves, is what I'm about to say truly necessary? Is it kind? Will it enhance the silence? This isn't about suppressing our voice, but about fostering a sense of purpose and intentionality in our communication. By adopting this approach, we learn to speak with deliberation, select our words thoughtfully, and recognize the significant impact of active listening. This pursuit of reflective wisdom is both a personal endeavor and a universal one, linking us to the ancient Stoics who deeply understood the power of words and the value of silence. By opting to speak less and listen more, we not only pay homage to their legacy but also enrich our own lives. We evolve into individuals who are more considerate in our interactions, more purposeful in our decisions, and more in tune with the world around us. This path, though challenging, offers immense rewards. It beckons us to live with depth and intention, fostering a stronger connection to ourselves and to others. As Marcus Aurelius, a revered Stoic philosopher, once said, we have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. This principle is a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy, emphasizing the importance of listening and understanding over speaking. In our modern world where the hustle and bustle often lead to a disconnect from our inner selves and from others, the practice of reflective wisdom is more relevant than ever. It's a reminder to slow down, to choose our words with care, and to prioritize understanding and empathy over the need to be heard. By doing so, we not only honor the Stoic tradition, but also create a more meaningful and connected life for ourselves and those around us. In conclusion, the art of reflective wisdom, of speaking less and listening more, is a profound practice rooted in Stoic philosophy. It teaches us the value of silence, the importance of thoughtful communication, and the power of empathy. As we navigate the complexities of modern life, let us remember the wisdom of the Stoics and strive to incorporate these timeless principles into our daily lives, enhancing our relationships and deepening our understanding of the world and ourselves. 3. Resilience in Adversity Embarking on a journey of reserved speech is akin to uncovering a hidden gem within ourselves, one that often goes unnoticed amidst the clamor of our daily existence. This path uncovers a unique strength in those who are sparing with their words, a resilience that is both rare and invaluable in our fast-paced era. 
Stoicism, an enduring philosophy, teaches us that this quiet fortitude is not about suppressing our voice, but rather about judiciously choosing when and how to express it. This approach reflects the Stoic practice of mastering one's actions and reactions, emphasizing the importance of listening, comprehending, and pondering before speaking. The allure of individuals who speak infrequently lies in their embodiment of Stoic restraint, demonstrating that wisdom is not necessarily found in the abundance of words, but in the thoughtful intentions behind them. These individuals grasp, as Marcus Aurelius and Epictetus did, the significance of our words. By being selective in their communication, they lend greater meaning to the words they do share. This isn't a restriction, but a deliberate tactic, fostering deeper reflection and a more considered response to our surroundings. How, then, can we incorporate this stoic resilience into our own lives? It starts with recognizing that silence is not an emptiness, but a realm brimming with possibilities for growth and insight. By welcoming moments of quiet, we expose ourselves to the teachings that hardship brings, learning to respond with clarity and intent, rather than reacting impulsively. This practice, akin to the stoic exercises of introspection, instructs us to find tranquility amidst turmoil, to seek internal strength, and to view obstacles as chances to demonstrate our resilience. As we traverse life's complexities, it's crucial to remember that the essence of resilience lies not only in confronting challenges but in how we interact with the world. The quiet resilience of the less verbose serves as a reminder that in the economy of language each word has the power to enlighten, heal, and transform. It's an invitation to adopt stoic principles of acceptance, perspective, and virtue, steering us towards a life filled with purpose, meaning, and steadfast strength. Incorporating stories that resonate with this theme can further illuminate these concepts. Consider the tale of a seasoned sailor who, amidst a fierce storm, remains calm and speaks sparingly. His crew, initially anxious and chattering with fear, gradually adopt his demeanor, finding strength in his composed silence. The sailor's few words when spoken are deliberate and full of wisdom, guiding the ship safely through the tempest. This allegory mirrors the stoic principle of resilience, demonstrating that sometimes strength and guidance are found not in a multitude of words, but in thoughtful silence and measured actions. In conclusion, the lesson for our audience is clear. Embrace the power of thoughtful silence. Let us learn to speak less but with more purpose, to listen more and react less. By doing so, we can cultivate a stoic resilience that not only helps us navigate life's challenges, but also enriches our interactions with others, leading to a more meaningful and impactful existence. 4. Silence builds strength. Silence, often overlooked, is a powerful tool in the arsenal of those who practice Stoicism, a philosophy that values inner peace and resilience. Marcus Aurelius, a renowned Stoic philosopher, emphasized the significance of speaking less and listening more. This concept isn't about mere reticence, but about cultivating a profound inner strength and clarity. In a world where noise and constant chatter are the norms, Choosing silence is both a rebellion and a path to enlightenment. When we observe individuals who speak sparingly, we notice an inherent strength in their presence. Their silence isn't an absence of words, but a testament to their inner calm and wisdom. They understand that words have power and should be used judiciously. This echoes the Stoic belief in introspection and the cultivation of an inner sanctuary of peace. By embracing moments of quiet, we're not just withdrawing from the world, we're engaging deeply with our inner selves. It's in these moments of introspection that we discover our true desires and the paths we wish to pursue. Silence can be likened to a personal trainer for the mind. Athletes build physical strength through rigorous training, and similarly we can develop mental resilience and quietude. In the stillness, we're not idle. We're actively constructing a fortress of serenity within ourselves. This inner sanctuary is where we confront and understand our inner turmoil, emerging more centered and unshakable. It's a practice that prepares us to face life's challenges with clarity and composure. The clarity that emerges from such silence is transformative. It's not just about achieving peace of mind. 
It's about gaining the clarity to make decisions aligned with our core values. Actions born from deep reflection carry more intention and purpose. This mindful way of living changes not only our personal lives but also how we interact with the world. Our words become more impactful, our decisions more considered, and our presence more serene and commanding. Speaking less and listening more is about engaging in a deeper dialogue with ourselves and the world. It's harnessing the strength from silence to lead a life of purpose. Following the stoic path of silent introspection doesn't lead to withdrawal, but equips us with the insight and calm to act with conviction and grace. As we embrace the quiet, we align ourselves with the Stoics of old, resilient, clear-headed, and profoundly impactful. This journey into silence is not just a retreat but a powerful tool for navigating the world and our relationships within it. It teaches us that in the economy of words each one should be spent wisely, echoing the timeless wisdom of Marcus Aurelius. By speaking less we're not just conserving words, we're amplifying their meaning and impact. In conclusion, the lesson for our audience is clear. Embrace silence as a source of strength and clarity. Let your words be few, but full of purpose, and let your actions stem from a place of deep reflection and understanding. In doing so, you'll not only enrich your own life, but also positively influence those around you. Remember, in the art of speaking less, every word counts, and every moment of silence is an opportunity for growth and introspection. Thank you for your participation in this video. If you've absorbed the wisdom of this video, you're on the path to profound insight. Drop a comment with silent strength to affirm your commitment to embracing the traits of Stoic serenity, as taught by Marcus Aurelius. Subscribe to Stoic in Your Life for more enlightening journeys into Stoicism. Stay tuned, for there's much more to uncover. Fafunner. Eliminate distractions. In the bustling rhythm of our daily lives where a cacophony of sounds and distractions constantly surrounds us, there lies a profound, often overlooked strength in the art of speaking less. This concept, deeply rooted in the teachings of Stoicism, particularly in the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius and Epictetus, emphasizes not the suppression of one's voice, but rather the enrichment of its value. These ancient philosophers recognized the immense power of words and the significance of thoughtful speech. They perceived silence not as an absence, but as a fertile ground for reflection, a sanctuary for inner peace and clarity. Our exploration today delves into this timeless wisdom, encouraging us to eliminate distractions and discover in the quietude a more profound connection with ourselves and the world. The importance of speaking less in our modern, fast paced existence cannot be overstated. It's about the quality of our interactions. Each word you choose to utter has the potential to construct or destruct, to illuminate or overshadow. By opting for silence over incessant chatter, you allow your words to gain strength, to resonate more deeply with those who listen. Practicing thoughtful communication is an act of respect, respect for the listener, the message, and oneself. It's a stoic lesson in finding power in simplicity in the pauses between words where understanding and connection flourish. But the question arises, how do we develop this trait amidst a world that demands our constant attention? It starts with intentionality, with a deliberate choice to embrace moments of silence in our daily routine. This could mean taking a brief pause before replying in a conversation, truly absorbing the essence of what's being said, or dedicating time each day to step away from the relentless digital noise. It's in these pockets of stillness that we gain clarity, where we can contemplate our thoughts and refine our expressions. This discipline of silence, of measured speech, challenges us to value quality over quantity, substance over sound. I invite you, then, to journey down this path of stoic practice. Observe how embracing silence can transform your conversations, your relationships, and your comprehension of the world. By speaking less, you'll notice your words carry more weight, your thoughts become clearer, and your interactions gain depth. This journey is not merely about reducing the quantity of our words. It's about enhancing the quality of our communication, about living with intention and purpose. 
in the footsteps of our stoic mentors. Let us find the bravery to seek out silence, to allow our words to resonate with truth and significance. Marcus Aurelius once said, He who has a strong enough why can bear almost any how. This quote beautifully encapsulates the essence of our discussion. When we understand the why behind speaking less, we can endure the how of practicing it. It's about finding meaning in our words, ensuring that when we do speak, it's with purpose and thoughtfulness. Embrace this journey towards a more focused, serene, and meaningful existence. Let the wisdom of Stoicism guide you in cherishing the power of silence, in understanding that sometimes the most impactful statements are those left unspoken. By speaking less, we open ourselves to a world of deeper understanding, empathy, and connection. A world where our words are not lost in the noise but are heard in their true intended essence. 6. Silence causes confusion for the opponent. In a world where words often dominate, the practice of speaking less can be a profound strategy. This approach to communication, or rather the deliberate lack of it, holds a multitude of benefits and insights, as we shall explore through the lens of Stoic philosophy. Firstly, silence can be a powerful tool in creating confusion for an opponent. When you choose to remain silent, you essentially hold up a mirror to the world, allowing others to project their thoughts and insecurities. This isn't about withdrawal but rather a strategic choice to embrace calm. It's akin to being like water, clear, reflective, and unperturbed, as Lao Tzu beautifully articulated. Silence is a source of great strength. By nurturing this inner stoic wisdom, you maintain your peace even amidst chaos. This silent strategy disrupts the typical pattern of dialogue, where words are often used as weapons. In contrast, your silence acts as a shield, deflecting these verbal darts and leaving the aggressor perplexed and uncertain of their next move. In these moments of quiet observation, you're not just listening, you're learning and planning, staying several steps ahead. Your silence conveys a message of intention and control, aligning with the stoic virtues of wisdom and temperance. It's about valuing the unspoken, finding strength in stillness, and seeking clarity in calm. Consider the story of a wise old monk who, when confronted with insults, remained silent. His quietude confused and eventually calmed his aggressor, who expected a reaction, but found none. This story illustrates the power of silence in disarming conflict and the wisdom in choosing when to speak and when to remain quiet. Embracing silence is not about creating a void. It's about creating a space rich with potential. In this space, you have the freedom to observe, reflect, and choose your actions with precision. Silence becomes both your strategy and your strength. In the quiet, you find your true voice, guided by the wisdom of the ages. Remember, in stillness lies a power that words often fail to match. To apply this in our daily lives, consider practicing moments of silence in conversations, observe the reactions and emotions of others, and use this knowledge to respond with wisdom and temperance. Reflect on the story of the monk, and remember that sometimes the most powerful response is no response at all. In conclusion, speaking less and embracing silence can be a transformative practice. It allows us to remain calm in the face of adversity to reflect and respond with intention and to harness our inner strength. As we navigate through life, let us remember the power of silence and the wisdom it brings. For in the quiet, we often find the answers we seek. 7. Freedom from pride or arrogance. This concept, often misunderstood, isn't about diminishing your worth or ignoring your talents. Rather, it's about perceiving your strengths and weaknesses with clarity and honesty avoiding the extremes of arrogance and self-deprecation. Picture yourself walking a tightrope with arrogance on one side and self-belittlement on the other. The key is to maintain your balance, staying centered and true to yourself. This balanced approach is more than just humility. It's about embracing the truth of our shared human condition. When we accept this truth, it fundamentally changes how we engage with the world around us. We shift from a need to speak, to a desire to listen, from a compulsion to assert ourselves to an effort to understand others. 
Those who master this trait often speak less, not due to a lack of thoughts, but because they recognize the profound impact of words. They choose their words deliberately, ensuring that when they do speak it contributes meaningfully to the conversation, rather than just adding to the noise. This kind of quiet strength has a magnetic quality, drawing others towards a space of deeper connection, and mutual respect it reminds us that often, in our silence, we communicate more effectively than we could with endless words. Adopting this approach to life and communication is a journey, one that starts with introspection, a fundamental practice in Stoicism. By regularly examining our motives and biases, we align our actions with our deeper values. Acknowledging our imperfections allows us to be more understanding towards others, fostering a sense of empathy and compassion. This process isn't about focusing on our faults. It's about evolving in wisdom and kindness. As we progress on this path, we notice our relationships deepening, our minds broadening, and our lives becoming more enriched. Therefore, as we go about our daily lives, let's embrace the power of restraint, of listening more and speaking less. By adopting the stoic virtue of freedom from pride or arrogance, we nurture a life filled with meaningful interactions and genuine connections. This is where authentic communication thrives, teaching us not just to speak but to speak with purpose and to listen with intent. This is the pathway to a life of depth, harmony, and true satisfaction. Marcus Aurelius himself once said, We have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. This wisdom encapsulates the essence of our discussion today. In the realm of Stoicism, the practice of speaking less is not about silencing our voice, but about using it with intention and thoughtfulness. It's about understanding the power of words and the impact they can have. When we speak, we should aim to add value, to contribute positively to the dialogue, and to enrich the lives of those around us. This philosophy extends beyond mere conversation. It's about how we live our lives, how we interact with the world, and how we perceive ourselves in relation to others. By freeing ourselves from the shackles of pride and arrogance, we open ourselves up to a world of learning, growth, and connection. We become more attuned to the needs and perspectives of others, and in doing so we enrich our own understanding and experience of life. In conclusion, the journey towards mastering the art of speaking less is a journey towards self-awareness, empathy, and connection. It's a journey that requires patience, introspection, and a commitment to personal growth. As we walk this path, let us remember the words of another great Stoic philosopher, Epictetus, who said, We have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. Let these words guide us as we strive to live a life of purpose, meaning, and fulfillment. 8. The Art of Deep Listening in the realm of communication, there exists a subtle yet profound art that often goes unnoticed amidst the hustle and bustle of our daily lives. This art, known as deep listening, is a skill that those who are more reserved in speech have come to master. It's a concept deeply intertwined with the principles of Stoicism, a philosophy that emphasizes the importance of empathy, wisdom, and the power that lies in quiet observation. For those who practice deep listening, Every conversation is akin to a hidden treasure, brimming with opportunities to learn and forge connections that transcend the superficiality of mere words. These individuals approach dialogues not as stages for their own voices to be heard, but as gateways to delve into the minds and hearts of others. This practice isn't about remaining silent passively. It's an active, intentional engagement, a conscious choice to not let one's voice Disrupt the flow of another's thoughts and emotions. Consider the transformative impact it has when you listen not just to respond, but to truly understand and empathize with someone else. This is the core of Stoic empathy, the recognition that beneath every spoken word lies an ocean of emotions, experiences, and wisdom waiting to be uncovered. To embark on the path of deep listening, one must start with a purposeful mindset viewing each interaction as a valuable lesson in human experience. Deep listening involves silencing our internal chatter to fully tune into another's narrative. 
allowing their story to unfold without the urgency to interject with our own perspectives. This requires a level of patience that is highly esteemed in Stoic philosophy. It teaches us to curb the impulse to speak and instead, let the eloquence of silence convey what words cannot. By practicing patient listening, we open ourselves to new viewpoints and insights that might have remained hidden had we been preoccupied with our own responses. So how does one cultivate this profound ability? The journey begins with embracing the stillness within oneself. Finding comfort in quiet moments is crucial, for it is in these periods of silence that we become truly attuned to the finer aspects of communication. Reflect upon the teachings of the Stoic philosopher Epictetus, who famously said, We have two ears and one mouth, so that we might listen more and talk less. Let this ancient wisdom be your guide in becoming a pillar of empathy, understanding, and wisdom in a world that is in dire need of more listeners and fewer orators. Embarking on this journey of deep listening is not merely about improving our interpersonal skills or becoming more effective communicators. It's a pathway towards embracing a more stoic way of life, one that is enriched with fulfillment and understanding. By mastering the art of listening, we not only enhance our relationships and our ability to connect with others, but we also step closer to the serene and resilient spirit that Stoicism advocates. In essence, deep listening is a transformative practice that aligns with the Stoic pursuit of inner peace and enlightenment. It's about discovering the profound impact that comes from truly hearing and understanding the world around us. As we navigate through the ebbs and flows of life, let us remember the power of silence and the wisdom that comes from listening deeply. In doing so, we not only enrich our own lives but also contribute to a more empathetic and connected world. Quainty, kind and considerate regard for others. In our journey through life, we often encounter the bustling noise of a world that seems to revolve around speaking more and listening less. However, the ancient wisdom of Stoicism, particularly as espoused by Marcus Aurelius, offers a different perspective. This philosophy teaches us the profound impact of speaking less and listening more, a trait that can significantly enhance our lives and relationships. In this exploration, we'll delve into the essence of this stoic virtue, drawing inspiration from stories and allegories, and offering practical advice for integrating this wisdom into our daily lives. Stoicism, a philosophy that has stood the test of time, emphasizes the importance of empathy and consideration for others. These virtues, often overlooked in our fast-paced, self-centered world, are akin to hidden superpowers. Stoic thinkers like Seneca and Marcus Aurelius highlighted the significance of understanding and compassion in our interactions. When we choose to act with kindness and genuinely consider the feelings and perspectives of others, we are not merely being polite. Instead, we engage in a profound act of humanity that echoes the Stoic belief in the interconnectedness of all people. This approach is not about suppressing our own thoughts or feelings, but about creating space for a more inclusive, empathetic understanding of those around us. To bring this ancient wisdom into our modern lives, we start by observing the impact of our words and actions on others. Are we contributing to the chaos, or are we a source of calm and understanding? Practicing active listening is crucial. When someone speaks to us, giving them our full attention is not just about hearing their words, but about trying to understand the emotions and intentions behind those words. This simple act honors the speaker and aligns with the Stoic tradition of empathy and rational dialogue, reflecting on the stories and struggles of those around us with the same intensity and respect we desire for our own stories, deepens our understanding and empathy. It's about seeing the world through the eyes of others and recognizing our common humanity. Stoicism teaches us that each interaction is an opportunity to practice kindness and consideration leading to a richer, more connected life. By adopting these principles, we not only honor our Stoic heritage, but also bring out the best in ourselves and those around us. This approach fosters a sense of mutual respect and understanding that ripples through our relationships, transforming not just how we view others, but also how we see ourselves and the world. Let's consider a story from the life of Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic emperor known for his wisdom and virtue. 
Despite his power, Aurelius was known for his humble and empathetic approach to governance. He often spent time listening to the concerns of his people, regardless of their social status. This practice not only endeared him to his subjects, but also provided him with insights that helped him rule more effectively and compassionately. His ability to listen more and speak less was not a sign of weakness, but a testament to his strength and wisdom. In our daily lives, we can emulate Aurelius by practicing active listening and empathy. This might mean taking a moment to truly listen to a colleague's concerns without immediately jumping in with solutions or spending time with a friend and focusing solely on their words and emotions, setting aside our own agenda. By doing so, we create a space where understanding and compassion can flourish. In conclusion, the Stoic practice of speaking less and listening more is a powerful tool for personal growth and building meaningful relationships. It allows us to connect with others on a deeper level, fostering empathy and understanding. As we navigate the complexities of our contemporary world, let's remember the timeless wisdom of Stoicism and strive to embody these virtues in our daily interactions. By doing so, we not only enrich our own lives, but also contribute to a more compassionate and connected world. Men, silence in negotiations. In the realm of communication, particularly within the nuanced art of negotiation, there exists an often underestimated tool of immense potency, silence. This strategic embrace of quietude, a tactic deeply revered by the sagacious Stoics of yore, continues to wield its subtle yet formidable influence in our contemporary, fast-paced world. Silence, when adeptly employed, transcends mere absence of sound. It evolves into a robust strategy, capable of altering the very dynamics of a dialogue. Envision silence as the tranquil prelude to a storm, not one that heralds destruction, but rather one that ushers in clarity, understanding, and ultimately, Resolution The individual who masters the art of speaking less, particularly within the context of negotiations, often finds themselves wielding a position of strength. This is not a mere exercise in withholding for the sake of enigma. It is the deliberate creation of a space, a space for reflection, for the metaphorical dust to settle, enabling a clearer view of the essence of the matter at hand. Marcus Aurelius, a paragon of Stoic thought, once profoundly stated, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. In applying this wisdom to the concept of silence in negotiation, it becomes evident that silence affords us the ability to control the narrative. This control is not exerted through overt domination of the conversation, but rather through guiding it with the rudder of thoughtful contemplation. The mastery of silence begins with self-awareness recognizing when the urge to speak is merely a knee-jerk reaction rather than a considered response. Picture yourself as the captain of a vessel, navigating tumultuous seas. The waves of conversation may be unpredictable and challenging, yet your hand remains unwavering, discerning when to propel the discussion forward with words and when to anchor in the harbor of silence. This practice is not only a demonstration of confidence, but also of respect, respect for the moment for the unspoken words hanging in the balance, and for the individuals engaged in the exchange. It is a testament to the belief that our words should carry meaning, impact, and, when the moment is ripe, the potential for transformation. As we traverse our daily interactions, it is crucial to recognize the strategic value of silence. It serves as a bridge builder, not a barrier creator. It opens doors rather than closing them. In embracing silence, we are not merely participants in a negotiation. We elevate the exchange to a dialogue where understanding and respect are the most valued currencies. Therefore, in your next conversation, negotiation, or any moment of exchange, ponder the power of a pause. It might very well be the most eloquent statement you ever make. This approach to silence, especially in negotiations, is not just about being quiet. It's about being mindful and intentional with our words. It's about understanding that sometimes the most powerful thing we can do is listen, observe, and reflect. In a world where everyone is rushing to speak, to have their voices heard, there's immense strength in choosing to be the one who listens, 
who understands, and who speaks only when it adds true value to the conversation. Incorporating the Stoic principle into our modern lives, especially for men aged 30 to 65 who are often in the midst of career, family, and personal development, can be incredibly transformative. It's about learning to navigate the complexities of life with a serene mind and a resilient spirit, much like the Stoics. By adopting this practice, we not only enhance our personal and professional relationships, but also cultivate a deeper sense of self-awareness and inner peace. In conclusion, the art of speaking less and employing silence as a strategic tool in negotiations is a powerful testament to the enduring wisdom of Stoicism. It's a reminder that in our fast-paced, often noisy world, there's profound strength and wisdom in choosing to be the calm, reflective presence. As we continue to explore and apply these timeless principles, we find that they not only enrich our understanding of the world, but also empower us to lead more meaningful, impactful lives. Lives. In today's episode, we delved into the profound teachings of Marcus Aurelius, exploring the ten traits of those who speak less, and how these align with Stoic philosophy. We've seen how silence can be a powerful tool for personal growth, reflection, and resilience. It's not just about speaking less, it's about making each word count, about finding strength in quietude, and about understanding the immense value of listening and thoughtful response. As we conclude this journey, I encourage you to carry these lessons into your daily life. Reflect on how embracing these traits can transform your interactions and mindset. Remember, the path of Stoicism is one of continuous learning and self-improvement. If you found value in today's content, I invite you to like, share, and subscribe to Stoic in Your Life. Your support is not just appreciated, it's essential in helping us grow this community of like-minded individuals. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, ensuring you never miss out on our upcoming videos, where we'll continue to explore the timeless wisdom of Stoicism and its application in our modern world. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Stoic in Your Life. Together, let's keep walking the path of wisdom, resilience, and virtue. Until next time, remember, in the art of living, the best teacher is lived experience. Keep exploring, keep growing, and keep embodying the principles of Stoicism in every aspect of your life.